looking to make some healthier habits this holiday season, make sure to check out our Moving Through Midlife community over on Facebook as we are doing a Planksgiving event where we are doing daily plank workouts. We will be doing an advent for healthy, happy hips this holiday season, and then also have a sugar challenge, a two-week sugar challenge that you might be interested in. Happy holidays! It is always my goal to help you and your family move more. So every Thursday, I am dropping a movement snack into your ears to help you and your family move more. It is our movement snack of the week, and this month we are focusing on planks. And I want you to think about your position when you are in a plank. And pay attention whether you're doing plank now or the next time you go down into a plank. I want you to focus on something for me. So when we go into plank, think about where the pressure in your core is going. Just think about that. And you can actually do it sitting here right now. Where is the pressure in your core going? Now, for some of you, you tend to put a lot of pressure down or out. So if you were to go into a plank, gravity is going to be pulling you down. So what in turn happens? We brace our core, but many of us, when we brace, we push out. So the pressure is pushing out out on the belly. This would be a position that would create some problems, possibly diastasis recti, possibly some pelvic floor issues, because you're putting pressure out. Even that low belly pooch may occur, pressure out. So again, go back into plank if you're able to do that now, or think about your, you know, while you're sitting there. And I want you to think about if someone were to punch you in the stomach. Okay, I know that's gruesome. I think I've mentioned this before in the past when we're talking about different exercises. But what does your body do when you do that? It's not sucking in, but it's bracing in, right? Do you feel the difference? So if I'm bracing out, pressure is pushing up against my belly. If I'm bracing in, it's almost like that intra-abdominal pressure is pulling in, creating more of a solid foundation within my core, right? I want you to pay attention as you are planking. What is occurring in your core? Is it pushing out or is it bracing in? The goal when you do a plank is to brace in. Now, this is different from sucking in. We're not thinking of pulling back and creating that uh, cinching sensation at the belly button. This is more of a, if someone were to bring their hand, and they were getting ready to punch you in the stomach, what is occurring within your core? And it should be this active brace in. That's the only way I can describe it. This is what you should be practicing when you are planking. um, And during certain movements even, maybe like an overhead press, things like that, where you're putting... um, movement where you're having to use your core to stabilize you. If you are thinking of pressing out for your pressure, um, this could be in turn creating some problems like I mentioned, diastasis recti, things like that. So next time you go in a plank, I want you to see what is occurring and uh, feel free to reach out to me. If you have questions about this or how do you refocus 
and think pressure in rather than um, pushing out. And then also make sure to join us in our Moms Raising Healthy Humans community over on Facebook, where we will be doing our Planksgiving challenge. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and make sure to keep moving. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you could do me a favor, if you like what you hear, could you leave us a review or take a screenshot and share your favorite takeaway on social media? And make sure to tag us over at raising underscore healthy humans. Now go out and enjoy more movement throughout your day.